everyone, welcome to a new sewing video. I'm gonna start my next project. So I'm gonna be making a luxury, quite fancy dress, possibly could be a wedding dress. I've started with this tunic, but yeah, so this is what I'm beginning with. I've basically just spent the last half hour or so cutting off the outer layer of a tunic and I've just kept the lining. So I've kept the neckline here. I had to cut out a section of this dart here because one of these crystals was had been sewn into it and I just know that's going to break a sewing machine needle when I get to adding all my details. Again there's one here so I'm going to have to be careful of that. Um, also while I was cutting the outer layer off I, I managed to cut this one apart so I'm going to have to sew that side seam back up. And I kept this detail on the back but again because you can't always see what you're doing I did cut into it here which is a shame because that did look pretty but I wasn't sure if I was going to keep it at the time because the person who made this originally used a green pen to mark out their design. I'm still in two minds, I might just cut this whole bit out but it's so just so detailed and beautiful it, it, seems, it seems a shame to really. So yeah this is a bit of a different method, the darts are already in place which will hopefully save me a bit of time in the making of it although I still think it could do with a bit more shape at the front actually so yeah I've got this to sort of mend here to layer over the top I will be using some of the fabric that came off the outer layer obviously it's all in different pieces I will probably try and incorporate the beautiful design. Let me come up close to show you. Look at that, isn't that just stunning? So I'll probably try and incorporate that into one of the lower layers, but I'm sort of planning on going more, starting yellow and going down to sort of creamy white at the bottom of the dress, which I haven't gathered that fabric yet, but I'm hoping I've got enough around this room in my stash. What else do I have? I have a pair of salwar trousers, this lovely, very soft fabric. So I'm gonna use that. Oh, my battery light's flashing. What else do I have? Oh, and it's just a, a random piece of chiffon. So I'm definitely gonna need a lot more fabric than I've gathered already, but that's all I've got for now. So that's what I shall get started with. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you're new here, what I tend to do is I speed up a whole load of bits. Otherwise it would just take days and days to watch this video. So I speed up some, I talk you through other bits and uh, hope you enjoy watching. <music>
well the dress is now taking shape but i have just remembered that i sort of made a promise that i would add pockets to all of my skirts and dresses and i do keep forgetting so i'm going to just have to shift this piece and this piece forward luckily i haven't sewn them on yet and then i can add a pocket at the side there and there i've now got this panel coming all the way down there i mean that's just stunning i had to include it and i did decide to keep the back panel on i'm gonna sew this back down and i will get my needle and thread and hand stitch this cut bit here and repair that and hopefully it won't show because it's so busy with crystals and things i don't i think i think i'll be able to get away with it and then i've just got a few bits of gosh this is looking really sort of lime green in the camera it isn't that color at all let me see if i it is just a, a slightly darker yellow but it's not showing well on the camera at all yeah so there we are we're making good progress i think i've run out of fabric so i found this piece of material that i'm just going to use the yellow bit of i think it was planned to be part of perhaps a layer of a tunic because i'm guessing that's the neckline no i'm just going to cut it off and use the yellow because that goes quite nicely with the colours that I have. dress this time i have to be honest it's getting late i'm running out of natural light and because of the lighting in this room i i always cringe when i film the end of my videos and i've got this overhead lamp on that's just quite not quite in shot but the shadows and the lighting always looks awful so i'm just quickly filming this end now i hope you don't mind it is so nearly finished, but I've just got um, a bit of fabric to add on these little bits around the sleeves and I've got the back lacing up to do. I'm, I've got some yellow crochet, uh, I'll show you quickly. I have this fabric sample uh, of yellow sort of crochet fabric and I'm gonna use that on the back to help form some lacing that's gonna, that gives a you know more flattering fit around the waist. So I hope you don't mind, I'm gonna do the cutaways showing you the details and the close up bit tomorrow when I finish this and it's back in daylight. So that's the end of this video. I really like this dress i love the cheery yellow i'm really glad i picked this color to do next because it's been a bit miserable around here recently i think the weather is set to improve but um in the meantime it's quite nice to have a nice sunshiny color brightening up my sewing room so it's been really nice to make yeah, i think it'd be a great bell costume for beauty and the beast fan or quite a swish la la land costume but i just think it'd be a really nice cheerful dress for any special occasions i haven't done a photo shoot yet but if you're interested in seeing the photos when i do do them then they'll be on the etsy listing um, along with more details about the fabrics and that sort of thing and my etsy shop is called threads of a fairy tale i will put the link below and i'll also let you know in the description bit if it's been listed yet i might post this video before it's even been listed in which case please join my mailing list and I will let you know. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button below. I'd love to see you again. And that's it really. Thank you for watching. Bye. Mm -hmm.